welcome back to our YouTube channel and our Australia series. Today we are again doing something very exciting, I'm gonna say it all the time, but we are heading out to the Great Barrier Reef. So we're still in Cairns at the minute and we're still traveling around with the yeah, big popular sign today. We picked a tour that we liked. What was the tour called? Oh. We'll find that out anyway. We'll give you all the info. We picked a tour that we like. We're getting picked up this morning. Depart in the marina at 9 a.m. and it's an hour and a half sail drive. To so we're heading out to the platoon pontoon barge, which is on the outer reefs, and we're going to drive there on a different boat, and then we're going to spend five hours there. And it has pools on the deck, it has access to the sea so we can go diving. A marine biologist on board to answer questions. We can feed fish, we're gonna have some food, so it looks really good. And then it's an hour and a half trip back and we'll be back about five o'clock, so it's an all day adventure. So there are multiple different options when it comes to exploring the Great Barrier Reef. We did a bit of research before we booked our tour and it said that the outer reefs are the ones where you'll see most wildlife and most coral so have the better experience have a look online and do some digging before you book out because there's loads of different ones you can book and even when you get here they've got loads of information desks spotted around and things where you can book onto tours we booked ours yesterday for today so the uh, availability is quite good as well well we are out of prime season at the moment so that may have something to do with it that's true oh yeah so we're heading there now I'm very excited. George is hoping to see some sea turtles. Keep your fingers crossed for us. We actually went to the night market last night to go and pick up a waterproof case for our phone so that we can show you as much as we can under the water as well. That's definitely worth doing if you want to capture underwater activities because on this tour you can also hire out a waterproof camera but that's $60 for the day whereas ours was a lot cheaper. We chose to visit the Great Barrier Reef with Reef Magic Cruisers. This was a full day tour which stopped from Marlin Marina. We boarded their catamaran and were briefed with loads of interesting facts about the Great Barrier Reef and what we might see during our day out on the pontoon at Moor Reef. Barrier Reef started due to continental drift around 10,000 years ago. It's a World Heritage listing, which is made up of 2,900 reefs and is home to 600 species of coral. There's also 1,700 species of fish. Once we arrived, we toured around the pontoon and had a look at the different activities on offer. We began the day by taking a sub tour, which was a semi-submersive experience giving you a great view all the way around the reef without having to get wet. The outer reef marks the point where the coral systems meet the open ocean. Outer reefs are typically larger in size and host a more diverse range of marine life than inshore fringing reefs and mid-shelf reefs.
Before we had to board the catamaran back to Cairns, we decided to take another glass bottom boat tour as this was our favourite activity of the day. Plus we also heard that previous tours saw a shark and a turtle. Within minutes of our tour departing, we spotted a shark of which the Great Barrier Reef is home to 134 different species. This guy was a white tipped reef shark who aren't known to be dangerous to humans.
all for watching and we'll see you again very soon for our next vlog.